and welcome back to this course on digital systems. So in the last couple of weeks, we have been looking at implementation of combinational circuits largely, right? And uh, essentially, if you look at a combinational circuit, you have some inputs, okay? And a certain number of outputs, okay? These are called primary inputs and primary outputs. Right, so this is some combinational block. Right, so effectively what is going to happen here is if you provide a certain set of inputs Okay, let's assume that there are n inputs and m primary outputs. So, if you provide a certain combination of inputs, right, then the output will change after a certain delay that we already saw, right, and eventually it will settle to some final value. So, if I, if I just look at these primary inputs, I will call them i, okay. And this one I'm going to call as I'll call as PI and PO. Okay, each of this is not just one bit, it is n bits for the input and m bits for the output. So if I look at a waveform, okay, of my primary inputs, so I'm going to say that you know I'm going to use this notation here, okay, which is some 1, 2, right? So, this 1 means a certain combination of the n bits have been provided, okay? This, for example, this could be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, all zeros. This second input could be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? Or 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, or all 1s. It does not matter. It is some n bit combination and it is just saying that the transition has happened in one or more bits at this particular time instant, right? So, this is what the notation means, right? And likewise, you see here, I will switch to the state 3. So, the right thing to use here is a state, right? The input bits is going from one state to another and is I am just calling those states 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, if I look at this out this thing right, if you look at this primary output, okay, what is going to happen this first thing we will not worry about it, okay, I mean it is going to be some other you know corresponding output and what I will do is I will just use a different color here, okay. So, the PO1 corresponds, it just says that the primary outputs is some m bit value that corresponds to the input that was given to the primary inputs, okay. So, for example, if this were 0, 0, 0, 0, this state, then n bits, then this could mean, you know, this could be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 m bits. So, all I am saying is for that input of all zeros, there was an output which was 0, 0, 1, 1 or something like that m bits and this state 1 corresponds to the red output that we are talking about, okay. So, when the combinational block input now changes at this particular time, what is going to happen is you will find that the output actually starts changing quite early. So, what will, what will happen is for example, from this primary input to here, if I have just an inverter, suppose you imagine that that is the combinational block that is sitting inside there, then right and whereas for this primary output, I am going through many more gates, NAND, NOR, XOR and so on, many more gates, okay. 
so that there is a big path delay difference between the primary input and the primary output for the final primary output whereas there is a very short path from the primary input to the primary output for the zeroth output ok 0 and this is m minus 1 right. So therefore because of this difference some of the outputs will start changing very quickly ok and eventually it will settle to its final value. So therefore this is what I will say corresponds to 2 ok. So for example when I go from 0 0 0 to 0 0 0 1 okay if you just observe the primary output okay after t1 right what will happen is this 0 0 so let's say corresponding to the input okay this is my primary input this is my primary output so i'm let me take a 4 bit input okay and a 3 bit output as an example concrete example let us say my state 1 sorry state 1 was all inputs are 0 ok and then corresponding to this my primary output was let us say 1 1 1 you know just some combinational block I am not worried about that right then I am going to state 2 ok where the input again hypothetically it could be any other state but I am just saying let us say that is state 0 0 0 1 ok if I look at the primary output after t equal to t1 right that is when the um, output has actually the input has actually made a transition if I just observe this primary output what will happen is from the primary output 1 1 1 it could initially change to 1 1 0 then it could go to 1 0 0 and eventually 0 0 0 ok. So, if for example the primary input had uh, you know was corresponding to 0 0 0 1 let us say the output of this combinational block was 0 0 0 it could go through these intermediate states that is what this these triangles mean here ok it could just it just means the outputs are transitioning they are they have not yet stabilized to the final value but if you wait sufficiently long it will stabilize to its final value and that is what this 2 is ok. So, this is what I am going to call as the TPD propagation delay propagation delay of the combinational block. So, if you wait at least for TPD right and this is what we also called as the critical path earlier right. For example, in the ripple adder case, the critical path was from the one of the inputs A0, B0 all the way to the S some bit of the last adder, right? That was the critical path, okay? So, if you wait for that much time, the output will stabilize to its final value, okay? Right? Likewise, when it, when the input again changes at T2, okay, the x axis by the way is time and the uh, values are you know different states of the system. So, again here you will start seeing uh, some changes like this and after the propagation delay again it will settle to the output corresponding to state 3 whatever that input is. So, Im important to note that this correspondence there is there. Okay, depending on what the input is for state 2, the output is the corresponding output, right? But it takes a certain time for that to happen and likewise for state 4 as well. Okay, that is it. So, this is what we have. So, at T1 plus TPD right the output of this combinational block will be ready with its final value ok. Likewise after T2 plus TPD the output corresponding to state 3 will be ready that is what this whole thing uh, this 
timing diagram actually means. Okay, you will encounter such timing diagrams in many courses that follow this course as well. So it's you, it's good to get used to this timing diagram in general, right? Now there is a very important property of this combinational block. The combinational block it does not depend. Okay, for example, it does not depend on what my previous state was. Okay, so for example state 3 okay 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 okay is state 1 0 1 and 2 my state 3 could be 0 0 uh, let me just take 1 0 1 0 you know arbitrarily this could be my state 3 right and corresponding to this output uh, <coughs> okay this was 0 0 0 I am saying corresponding to this let us say this is my output okay State 4 is, I am going to, uh, let me come back to 0, uh, let me come back to 0, 0, 0 and then come back here, state 5 to 1, 0, 1, 0, right. So, what I am writing out here, you know, this PO value is the output that has stabilized after TPD of the transition, okay. So, that is what I am writing here. So, for example, if I now go from 1010 state of the primary input to 0000, then my output here eventually will be 111, right? And when I go back from 0000 to 1010, to 1010 it will still be 10. So, the fact I am, the point I am trying to make here is this output does not matter if I came from the state 0, 0, 0, 0 or I came from the state 0, 0, 0, 1, right? The previous input being something did not matter here at all, right? So, whatever the input is at that particular instant of time, the output will stabilize to its final value to the steady state value corresponding to that input after a certain delay that's all it does not depend on what state the system was before it came to that particular thing so the sequence of inputs does not matter for a combinational block really okay now on the other hand by the way just a small note here if i if i focus on this transition period right it's going through some you know this transition here that I spoke about. Of course, that will depend on what the previous state was, but that is not something we are concerned with. We are worried about what is the steady state value of the output after enough delay, after the propagation delay of the circuit, right? So, there in that sense, I am saying that it does not depend on the previous state, right? So, combinational blocks are. are stateless in some sense. They do not depend on the state of the system in the previous, you know, round or previous whatever it is, whatever the value is, right. So, however, it turns out that it is not possible to uh, design all kinds of systems with just a stateless system like this, right. 